three. Hey folks, welcome back to Flea Market Guy. <clears throat> I know it's been a while. We kind of put the uh, channel on ice for a while uh, because of the COVID-19. We've done uh, maybe one flea market. Uh, we've did a bunch of yard sales, but nothing that um, we had a whole lot of time to go in depth because a lot of the interaction was limited here in Pennsylvania. But I wanted to do a very quick video and it's an update uh, to a quick vacation we've had here in Myrtle Beach. Uh, I want to give uh, a little um, information, FYI, to those of you that have decided or thinking about coming to Myrtle Beach, um, South Carolina as a vacation spot. We are staying here at a place called Beach Cove Resort. Um, just a little information. When I made the reservations, um, we were not told that the resort was under construction. Uh, we were not told a number of things. Um, we had friends, uh, a good friend of mine that was a, that is a medical doctor, had told us to come to, uh, to go to the Wyndham. The Wyndham was a place that he'd gone to eight times. Uh, we did not go there because the price was pretty outrageous. We got a great price, um, not low end. It was probably high middle end price for this time of the year at the beginning of November. <clears throat> there were a number of things that we were told that should be uh, the norm for this resort from others that had come here in the past on YouTube. Uh, we were uh, uh, very disappointed. We've been very disappointed since we got here. Just one example, we wanted to stay an extra night and uh, we asked for an additional stay. Nobody's gotten back to us and we're on our second to last night. <clears throat> so that's one of, one of the issues. The other is the cable is going out. Nobody knows what's going on with the cable. Nobody's reached out to the cable company. So there's a few other issues. The the resort looks like looks like it's in a little bit of disrepair as well. Um, there are some units that look like that they've been sold uh, that are look like great condition, but the one that we're in, we've got a nice room. It seems to be okay. Uh, we used to stay at a place called the Omni Resort in Orlando, Florida, and. Uh, this place can't even touch the, tur the curtail of the Omni. And I think we paid like $30, $40 a night more at the Omni, which was in Orlando. Um, <clears throat> very disappointed with Beach Cove Resort in uh, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. There are a number of other places that you could stay. You'd have to go to uh, YouTube and look them up. <clears throat> now, I will say... The view is spectacular. That's the only thing this place has going for it. Uh, we were going to go Monday night to watch football downstairs in the, uh, <clears throat> the restaurant bar. And we talked to the bartender there. The bartender said, yeah, you know, it's open and it'd be a good time. So Monday evening, 8 o'clock, we go to show up. <coughs> the door was locked. The person that was inside the restaurant looked at us and hit the lights and turned the lights off as they were looking at us or looking at me. So uh, it just seems like it's um, really bad. I can only say management because it's it comes from the top down. Really bad management. Um, you get or you tend to see. Okay, so another example. Uh, we were pulling in the other day to come into our into the parking garage and there was a coach bus that was blocking the entrance into the parking garage. And so after having to drive on the sidewalk to get in, I told one of the security officers <clears throat> and the only thing the security officer could do was make fun of my Giants hat and uh, make a point that he was a Cowboys fan. It did nothing about the fact that I just took my vehicle over the sidewalk to get into the parking garage because there was a coach bus blocking the entrance. So you could tell it's real bad management. And so I wanted to put this video out and uh, just let some of you know that we stayed, we're staying here at the Ocean Beach 
is on a strip called the North Shore, South Shore, North Shore Boulevard, uh, which is the south side of the, that boulevard. The North Shore Boulevard is appears to be nicer where the Wyndham Resort is. Also, <clears throat> be aware of these buffets. There are <coughs> horrendous price gouging here on these buffets. Um, we've only found one that was $40. Uh, uh, it was $40 uh, for two people, but it was a limited menu. You didn't have the buffet. On average, the buffets are $40 a head, uh, <coughs> which was really disappointing. My wife and I went to a place, it's called the Flying Fish Market, uh, at the, what was the name of that place, honey? The, uh, the Barefoot? Landing. Huh? Barefoot Landings. The Barefoot Landings. Absolutely, it cost her and I, um, $90, and it was so good, and the gentleman that took care of us, his name was Matthew, uh, wonderful person, uh, we ended up, it was so good, that we ended up giving him a $20 tip, um, so I would say, stay away from the buffets, find, if you can get your, your, uh, <clears throat> your location about you, and try to find the, that location, and go in there and spend the ninety dollars for three amazing seafood dishes. It wasn't it wasn't anything that was just thrown together. You could tell it was really crafted uh, meals. Uh, really, really delicious. The dips were just uh, really tasty. Everything was wonderful. So there's a number of things that we found. Uh, boardwalk on the beach was another fun attraction. Uh, apparently, we're here on the off season, <coughs> right at the beginning of the off season. Um, there's a number of other things that might be helpful to you, such as um, like the aquarium, the Ripley's Aquarium ripoff. It was uh, ninety dollars for two people. Um, really, really bad price gouging going on here at Myrtle Beach, folks. Really bad price gouging. So I'm going to title this video uh, Myrtle Beach uh, Do's and Don'ts. Um, we went to IHOP for breakfast a couple of times. Um, we went to, uh, uh, just funny, I called it um, uh, the Wuhan Burger Joint, but it's actually the Warburgs um, on the um, boardwalk, on, boardwalk on the beach. Uh, there's not many of those restaurants. The food was delicious. The portions were very small and very expensive. It's uh, nice to go to once. Uh, my wife didn't want to go back again. Um, be careful, folks. When you go, when you come here, don't go to the Beach Cove Resort. I'm telling you right now. Unless you're fortunate to get right, like a really discounted price. Uh, take in mind that you're going to deal with a lot of nonsense. Uh, like right now, uh, we've had no cable for uh, going on two hours here. Um, the room, the beds were, it's like living, uh, sleeping on uh, uh, cinder blocks. Uh, the carpet, I just, I won't walk on the carpet without my shoes or my socks. Um, it's a no smoking area. The first two nights we had, uh, we had to close our sliders because it was the smell of marijuana from one of the balconies smoke that uh, filled our bedroom from the adjacent room uh, we couldn't sleep um, it was just the first two nights were just horrible here for us in the um, the uh, next few days have been let's just say par for the course um, if it wasn't for the view uh, this would be an absolute disappointment for us um, there's another facility Another place that uh, is right next to the this facility. Do you know what it's called, honey? Is it Ocean View or something like that? No. Uh, there's another hotel right next to us. Looks to be brand new. Beautiful, beautiful facility. We could see in the windows. It looks like it has um, royal blue, deep blue 
a new carpeting through all the hallways. We can see through the windows. All the hallways are like this really nice plush carpeting. Um, it's right next to this, this place that we're at now, the Beach Cove. So that's it, folks. Just wanted to give an update. We should be back, back at it with the yard sales of spring. Just wanted to put this out there. Uh, yard sales, auctions, and flea markets. Um, if you can subscribe, give us a thumbs up for the uh, video here. And we'll be back at you with some more uh, fun stuff uh, in the spring. Thank you.